Paul. Second name Cooper. Mike. Paul. Mike. 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 Paul. Yeah. Mike. Paul. Give me first place, second that won't do for me. Yeah. I came to win, fuck I look like trying to lose, homie. Yeah. Scared money don't make no wood. Scared money don't make no money. Give me first place, second that won't do for me. Yeah. I came to win, fuck I look like trying to lose, homie. Yeah. Scared money don't make no wood. Scared money don't make no money. Give me first place, I want it in the worst way And fuck what the church say, they're hating on the word play They'd rather see me serve plates, I'm in a fucking rat race Everybody a criminal, ain't no telling what their back way I'm stuck in my bad ways, rhymes pay, I'm here Every day feel like my birthday, not just once a year I'm trying to win, fuck a loss, so I use everything I was taught You got luck on your side, I got the man who carried the cross In the eye of the tiger, not in hell but on fire The game sold, I got buyers, when they talk don't get tired I'm like a nigga with no legs, I can't Stand for the losing. I came to win in this bitch. Fuck, I look like homie. Never scared, I'm ready where the money at. If you hate me, know my money, Jack. Kiss me where they never sunny yet. I can't let you beat me easy. My nigga, that's no good. Pour hard in the paint. Put that shit on my hood. It's Tiger, man. Give me first place, second, that won't do for me. I came to win. Fuck, I look like trying to lose, homie. Scared money don't make no wood. Scared money don't make no money. Give me first place, second, that won't do for me. Yeah. I came to win. Fuck, I look like trying to lose, homie. Uh-huh. Scared my. Yo! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, happy, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday. What's going on, fellas? Uh, Bitcoin 65K went a little lower last night, but we're back to where we were yesterday. Um, we'll talk about Bitcoin. We'll talk about altcoins and um, how, if you haven't seen this before, um, We've seen this four times already for, for Bitcoin in this bull market so far. So uh, we'll talk about that and um, how smart money buys the red and noobs sell the wicks. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that today. So uh, let's get it. Let's do this. And uh, some good old coins already bouncing back pretty good today, um, like FET and, and some of the some of the AI coins and, and things like that. Um, so we'll talk about that. But um and we'll, we'll take we're gonna look at some altcoins today i'm gonna show you guys where some altcoins uh that i like and i hold uh, actually came back down to which i think is pretty good levels uh which is the bull market support band so let's get it let's do this guys hit up that like button man the red days guys we, we this is why you guys gotta get a, jan- a journal and start documenting how you feel in your little journal i'm telling you man um what i noticed in my journal is whenever we whenever the market's bearish and near low the, like, the likes are a lot lower on the videos than when the market's bullish and everyone's happy. <laughs> it's a really, really good sentiment indicator. Uh, I noticed that today we had like almost 100 people pre-stream in here, like 10 likes, when usually there's like 50 already. I think I think I know what that means. So uh, let's get it. Let's do this. And uh, let's talk some Bitcoin, man. Let's talk some Bitcoin, some altcoins. DJ TaylorMade. I see David. I see Blaze. Dion. Uh, CL. You guys don't like my diary. It's not a diary. It's a journal. Okay? <laughs> guys have journals. Women have diaries. Okay? So Franco would have a diary. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's get this, guys. All right. So let's talk. So Bitcoin. Uh, we, we've seen about a 16% progr- 16% correction. Now, we all want Bitcoin to go straight up, right? This is what we want in life, right? Bitcoin, green candles, straight up. Um, never go down, but we knew at some point we were going to get a little pullback, right? And what better place to get a pullback is Bitcoin's testing the all-time highs, okay? And we'll talk about how this is totally normal for Bitcoin stopping at the all-time highs, consolidating for a few weeks before breaking it, right? We'll, we'll take a look at previous cycles and things like that, but guys, Bitcoin's went down about 16%, okay? And like we talked about the last few days, okay? There's always a possibility Bitcoin goes down about 20 to 22 percent again. Why? Because every pullback in the cycle has been in between 20 to 22 percent, right? This pullback, this pullback, this pullback, and this pullback were all in between 20 to 22 percent, right? And we talked about how 22 percent would get you about 57k, 20 percent would get you about 59k, right? So that's always a possibility. Do we go that low? I don't know. Your mom doesn't know. Your uncle doesn't know. Uh, Scotty doesn't know. Okay, <laughs> shout out to Scotty. He, he, he didn't. He didn't have. He didn't have a good time in that in that movie, man. Shout out to Scotty, man. Scotty probably 
It ended up working out for him because he found that girl at, over in Europe and he, he had a good time with her in the, in the changing room. If you remember the uh, Euro Trip movie, if you've never seen Euro Trip. It's a great movie, by the way. I kind of want to watch it again. I haven't seen that movie in years. I've seen that movie way too many times. Scotty doesn't know, okay? But uh, we're down about 16%. So this has actually been the smallest retrace that we've actually seen for Bitcoin uh, in this uptrend, right? <laughs> the smallest retrace we've seen for Bitcoin in this uptrend. So it's really not that bad. Um, and just know that this could be the low. Maybe it's not, but we could go down even further, but it's okay, right? It's okay. Smart money buy the, buys the lows and sells the highs, okay? So that's what we got for Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> when shave? I don't want to shave. I'm growing it out. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we go over to the weekly. I mean, guys, th this, is, this is what Bitcoin's typically done, right? So... We've talked about this a few times, but um, we're not doing anything different. Okay, take a look at this. So right here, you guys can see back in 2020, Bitcoin came up and tested its all-time high right here. You can see it stalled out here for about one, two, three, and on the fourth week it broke through. But on the retest, you actually had about a <laughs> about a 17% correction, almost exactly what we just had, right? So you actually had about a 17% correction for Bitcoin at its all-time high, right? What did we just have, right? We just had about a 17% correction. Does it mean we can't go down further? No, we can go down further. But this is totally normal to see Bitcoin stall out right here. We actually did it back in this cycle too, right? Right here, right? We came up to the previous 2013 high right here, back at all-time highs, and we actually saw a pullback from that standpoint, right? So it's normal to stall out right here for a little bit. It's not anything different, okay? And that'll lead you to the altcoins, what did all coins do previous cycles during this time? This green box right here is when Bitcoin was testing all-time highs back in 2020. You can see that we had the same, same exact pattern, right? Previous bear market highs flipped into support. We got that initial phase E impulse, okay? And then this is when Bitcoin was at all-time highs. You can see that all coins kind of struggled, right? For one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth week, we broke through. But you can see that we actually had a pullback in here. Altcoins actually had about a 30% pullback at the time where Bitcoin was struggling at its all-time highs, right? You can see we've done the same thing, right? Previous bear market highs, we flipped into support. We saw the initial phase E pump. And see, Bitcoin's at all-time highs, and we're seeing altcoins struggle a little bit. Exactly what we did last cycle, okay? Now, we've only seen all coins, the well, total three go down about 18%. So we could see further downside, and that's okay, right? That is okay. The strong will only make make it through. This was never going to be easy. <laughs> if you think you're going to upgrade from Prius, okay? Rant alert. From Prius to Lambo, you're not going to upgrade from the Prius to Lambo without going through some blood without going through some fear, without questioning, what the frick am I doing in this market? Okay? You ain't gonna get the Lambo unless you go through the tough times, all right? Now, Bob, he doesn't wanna go through the tough times. Man, I'm freaking sick of this crypto shit. Why can't my old coin just go straight up to the moon, man? This is freaking ridiculous. All I want is a Lambo. Every time I think I'm going to get a little hope. Oh, my old coin's pumping. Here we go. I'm about to see the moon. We freaking get a dip. And I blame it on Bitcoin. Piece of shit. Every time it pumps. It always retraces whenever my old coin starts to pump. It's ridic freaking ridiculous, man. Right? <laughs> and I know that's how a lot of you guys feel. But just know that that's normal. Okay? It's normal. Do some komosa. We could see some more red. It's okay. Um, if you are someone who's on the sidelines, um, I, I will say this, um, smart money buys, right, the pullbacks in the bull market, right? They don't sell the pullbacks in the in the bull market. Now, if you're already in comfy positions, right, you don't want to buy any more crypto, you already got good positions, right? All you really need to do is if we go back to the highs, remember next time, take profits. Let this be a reminder how it feels. We aren't having a super cycle, guys, Okay. I think Bitcoin's going much, much, much higher, but I do not think we're going into a super cycle. And I want this, I want, think about how you feel right now. And remember when Bitcoin's back up in the 70Ks, when your altcoin is, is making a higher high, how you feel today, because you didn't take any profits the last time. Okay. Remember how you feel. Make sure 
that if your altcoin's going to the moon and you're up like 5, 10, 15, something X on your altcoin, take a little off the board when it makes a new high, okay? Remember how you feel today. You feel like crap today? Don't let the euphoria get back to you when we're back at the highs because you're going to start hearing the super cycle shit again when we're back at the highs. Remember how you feel, okay? So that's what we got, guys. Um, if we take a look at the market, I, I think we're in a good spot, right? Like I said, we're not doing anything different. I know it's scary, and I know it doesn't feel good. <laughs> but remember, just a week ago, right? Everyone was talking super cycle. And then you, you fast forward a week now, it's over. We're going back to 30K. Who's to say a week from now, we ain't back and everyone's talking about a super cycle again. That's how fast crypto can change, especially in an uptrend in crypto, okay? So do some Komasa, relax, do some Komasa. Uh, if you're already in good positions, just chill out. Um, but ultimately, if you're looking to add into positions, um, we're at some pretty good levels. I've been pretty tempted. I, I told myself no more buying crypto. I've been pretty tempted to buy some stuff, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I've been pretty tempted to buy some stuff because you, you're getting some juicy levels I don't think you're going to get again. So um, let's go look at a few alts. So if we actually go look at a few altcoins, um, <clears throat> the super cycle so back. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, Franco, Franco, Franco's the homie, man. No. Here's what we need to go look at, right? So if you actually look at some of these alts, um, let's go look at some ones that were hit pretty hard, right? right? So look look at where like optimism came back down to, right? And this is where we need to, need to focus, okay? So a lot of the times in bull markets, what do we know about the bull market support band? A lot of the times, like if you're looking to add to coins, retest of the bull market support band is where you wanna do it, right? So look where optimism came back down to in the weekly today, okay? You actually popped right to that bull market support band and this thing got already got bought up about 15% off that bull market support band, right? So that was a good buy. If you have a chance to buy that bull market support band, it's not a bad time to add to some positions if you're looking to, right? So optimism, if we go and look at, um, what, what else? What else did? What else did? What else did? There was some other stuff. Um, Chainlink, right? Wick to that bull market support band. You saw a nice reaction. Um, if you go and look at... There was some other ones that did here. If I, if I can find them. Let's see. What else did? There was definitely some other stuff that we saw here. Hold on. Um, look at the ETC. The ETC fractal, right? Right before before we jump on some other stuff. Dude, the e, the Ethereum classic fractal, which if you don't, if you guys are new to the channel, we've been following this. It's 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 called like the, the ebbs and flows of the market pretty well. We didn't get as high as we thought we should on the Ethereum Classic Fractal, but the pullback right here, like this massive pullback right here, actually came in at the, <laughs> the perfect time, right? So although the Fractal did not show a, a, as high as a pump, we actually pulled back at the perfect time right here, <laughs> unfortunately. I, unfortunately speaking, we, 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 we did not go as high as, as the Fractal, but we did pull back. And this does show timing-wise, right, that upside right? So maybe a little like slow upside, but upside, right, would happen coming up next uh, over the course of the next few weeks if the fractals continue. So uh, just take a look at that. It's not too bad. Anyways, guys, 65,455 on the cone. That's Strap what I like up. to see. We're going to the We got some work to do, right? We got some work to do on the cone. But um, obviously, like I said, I, I love where we are. And honestly, I'm more bullish than I was a week ago. Why? Because I think, you know, ultimately, I think the, mar it's, it, the market needed a little fear. We needed to put a little fear in the newbies because it, we, Bitcoin was going up only, right? I mean, think about it. Bitcoin went from 38.5 all the way up to 70, about 74,000 with almost no pullback, right? It, we, we almost did a 2x on Bitcoin with no pullback. It was easy mode, bro. Easy mode. So I, I honestly, I think a little fear in the market is fantastic. Um, I, I think that is really going to, what that's going to do is you have smart money picking up at the lows, right? Panic sellers, panic selling, you know, dumps, okay? And ultimately those panic sellers, if the smart money's buying right here and they start pushing it back up, uh, those panic sellers will be the ones that push us higher, right? And it's just the, it's just a revolving door. So uh, we'll see if Bitcoin continues higher from here. We still could go lower, but ultimately, dude, I mean, 
a little fear in the market is freaking fantastic. Um, especially, especially at this point in the market, right? We really haven't seen alts go parabolic yet. It's good to flush out the leverage. <laughs> we definitely flushed out the leverage. We definitely flushed out all the leverage, bro. I don't think there's any leverage left in the oh, coins. <laughs> we freaking flushed that shit. Not only did we flush it down the toilet, bro, we put that shit in a porta potty, right? Took those leverages, stuck their head in the toilet, okay? Handcuffed them to the freaking top of the toilet, and then we pushed over that 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 porta potty, just like in the movie, uh, the Adam Sandler movie, and then where he he falls out of the the, the porta potty and the shit all over him and the deer's licking him. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, eight crazy nights. That's what we did to the leverage. We literally stuck their head in a porta potty toilet, pushed them down the toilet, <laughs> and did everything there. But yeah, that's what we got there. That's what we got there. Um. But yeah, so that's what we got, guys. I, I, honestly, I, I think we're in a good spot. Now, if we take a look at um, some of our top indicators, um, though this 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 ended up actually being a local top, which is okay. Um, ultimately, some of our top indicators, right? So I, I kind of changed this to buy crypto. Um, I think it's a little bit more nuanced and where we can use it. You can see buy crypto is getting a pullback, right? So people are starting to lose interest in crypto again. That's exactly what you want on pullbacks, right? Uh, Coinbase, number one app. Right, the last two cycles, Coin, Coinbase number one app has resulted in um, the top of the market. Right, Coinbase ain't even in the top of 200 apps anymore, ain't even in the top 200 apps. So people are undownloading Coinbase or not using Coinbase anymore. Right, <laughs> that's awesome. Right, that's awesome. Nice little reset because it was getting a little heated. Right, Coinbase got all the way up to number 40. Right, from like it went from 400 to 40 in the span of like a week. It was getting a little heated. Now, Coinbase ain't even in the top 200 apps anymore. Perfect. That's what pullbacks do. They reset the sentiment. You, you, you drop your sentiment indicators, and, and that's, 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 that's exactly what you got, man. Okay? So um, I think that's good. Um, and I think, like I said, making the, making, making the little noobs shiver in the little jimborees a little bit is exactly what you want to see. Okay? Who we got in here? Billy Madison. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Eight Crazy Nights. Guys, what's your favorite Adam Sandler movie? <sighs> Man, there's so many, there's so many classics of Adam Sandler movies. Billy Madison was a was a, was a really, really good movie. Eight Crazy Nights, even though it was animated, I thought it was a really, really good movie. Uh what else? What is the best Adam Sandler movies, man? Um shit. What's the football one? I like that one. The football one. Um shit, man. The football one. Uh, Soul Front, 66K, then back to that back to uh, 63. Yeah, we probably formed some W formation over here or something. Probably tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow's FOMC. So what would make sense is we come up a little bit more, right? We, we <laughs> FOMC, pre-FOMC causes a little fear. We pull back. And then depending on what FOMC is, right? If FOMC is good, right, we kind of continue up. If FOMC is bad, right, we may pull back a little bit more, right? Who knows? Uh, Happy Gilmore. Waterboy? Well, yeah, Waterboy. Waterboy was the shit, man. I like Waterboy. Waterboy was good. Waterboy by a mile. The Longest Yard. The Longest Yard was a good one, too. Uh, you know, you know, it was kind of like a serious one, but I kind of liked it. was um, Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates was a good-ass movie, man. Fifty First Dates was a fantastic movie. Absolutely fantastic. All right. So that's what we got over here. Um, as far as all kinds, right? So let's go look at soup. Guys, which what altcoins, what altcoins on this Bitcoin bounce have bounced well? Okay, pay attention to the ones because there's ones, right, that haven't bounced well. Okay, which I think means they're kind of weak, right? There's ones that have bounced really, really well. Those ones are relatively strong, right? So I would say this: if your altcoin today is down less than Bitcoin. It's a pretty good sign. If your altcoin is down more than Bitcoin today, probably not a great sign. Um, so once again, the, the the one that just bounced like crazy was was Celestia, right? Celestia was 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 due. This one's up about fifteen percent today, showing some crazy strength off the off the little Bitcoin bounce. Could just be a bearish retest, but but ultimately um, getting a pretty nice move up there. Could like I said, could just be a bearish retest right here though. Um, 
Optimism showing some strength, right? We, we tested the bull market support bands. OP has been sent to the shadow realm, um, but showing some strength today, right? Actually green on the day while Bitcoin took a shit. Um, it's pretty good. FET just continued to show strength. FET's back to almost 260. Uh, once again, it dumped all the way to 215 today, uh, has retraced all the way back to 260. So, so the AI coins, uh, once again, showing some strength, right? FET, uh, GPU, one that I, I've been talking about is green on the day, showing some strength. Um, Pepe, up about 8%. All right, so the soul memes. I actually haven't checked the soul memes. The soul memes, I'm sure, I think maybe probably get a little pullback. But, you know, seeing some of the other, like, you know, ETH memes, not, not doing too bad. Uh, Pepe. Um, but really, Vanry. Vanry, what I've been talking about. Vanry's up almost 10% today. Uh, Vanry showing some strength. Uh, this, this, is, this is my L1 gem. Vanry will be my 100x this cycle, okay? Um, and, but yeah. I mean, PYR, Vulcan Forge, if you missed out on this one from lower, um, great pullback back to the bull market support band, right? So if you see these coins pull back to that bull market support band, that's where smart money picks it up, right? And you can see the buy pressure come in at those levels. And then if you get a retrace, you break those highs, make sure you're taking profits next time, guys, okay? Uh, make sure we're, we're taking profits on some coins. Uh, we mentioned Nier, right? When Nier was boosting up, so I'm saying I'm selling a little bit of Nier. Uh, when FET was boosting up, I'm selling a little FET. When your coin's mooning, make sure you take some off the board because you're, especially when your coin's mooning um, and everyone starts talking about that coin, it's more most likely going to get like some type of pullback if everyone's talking about it. So you can always add back into it later on on some type of pullback. Or you can just put it in cash and <laughs> save it for a rainy day, okay? Um, but yeah, you got you got some you got some coins that, that are looking pretty good today. Aptos, shit. Up almost 15%. Aptos, 15% today. Phantom showing some crazy strength. Phantom just keeps pumping, man. 12%. Phantom just making new highs. Strap up. We're going, going to the moon. Um, stacks. I, I honestly think like as we head into the halving, you're going to see a lot of these Bitcoin plays do well, right? So a lot of like the Bitcoin layer twos, um, some of those EVM, like Satoshi EVM, stuff like that. You're probably going to see those plays do pretty, pretty well. But you're, you're, you're seeing stacks perform well. Uh, sweet, see, say, suey. <laughs> I get those two confused. Say, suey, same shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that one's doing good. But like you said, you got you got some strength on some coins and not so much on others. So, um, yeah, pay attention to those, man. Satisfaction said, "What if Jordan? What if this is the top? Same top as the same with June 2019? It could be. It could be, man. Um, I guess." The thing is, no one really knows. So, like, you you have to have conviction in your plays. You just have to have conviction, man. Um, I think the most important thing we can do now is, and, and I think this is going to be pretty important, is you know, when if Bitcoin comes back up and tests sixty nine k again, I think that's going to be a pretty important to see how Bitcoin reacts right there. Because if Bitcoin comes back up to sixty nine k which is that previous all-time high, and then finds resistance there again. Um, that's probably not going to be a great sign, actually. So we'll, we'll have to see what Bitcoin, how Bitcoin reacts to 69K. Um, I do think we get a retrace back up to there, um, and that, that's going to be the level to, to watch, to see. But you, you never know. You, you never know what can happen in the market. You know, All you can do is, is have, have your conviction in your plays, and at the end of the day... You can't live in fear of what ifs or what afs or, or or this or that. You can't live in fear, man. If you live in fear, you're never going to get the gains that you want, right? You're, you're just always going to be in fear. Uh, <laughs> like, what what if this? What if that, right? You're never going to get the gains you want. FTM crack, dude. FTM has been mooning. 12% on FTM, bro. We got, we got to do a pump song for freaking FTM. Shit. are feeding slurf slurf what? yeah phantom and aptos making new highs today uh two crazy moves crazy moves on those two coins other than that pretty like i said pretty tame day 
Um, another red day for most coins. So, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, Hoff said, crazy, my trust wallet is higher than it was before the dump. <laughs> Either that means you were buying a lot, Hoffs, or your coins got the best bounces. Or, or a combination of both. It's probably a little combination of both. A little profit. It's probably a slight combination of both. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a slight combination of both. <laughs> oh, man. But... Yeah, guys, that's what we got. It's it's just a, it's just a a game of getting through the red days and and and, and sort of um, having conviction. Like I said, having conviction. Don't be panicking on every little dip. This is actually the smallest dip. This is actually like the smallest dip that Bitcoin's actually had um, in this uptrend, right? But yeah, I, I think it's the most fearful dip that that we have I've seen right? <laughs> because you know why I think it's the most fearful because there's a lot of new market entrants. There's a lot of people just entering the market now. So you're obviously going to have more fear. The higher the market goes, the more fearful you're going to get on dips, right? I think this is actually the, the, uh, the, the just the relentless selling that I've seen on all coins the last few days. Whenever I see that relentless selling, right, where you it's just it's just dumpage. To me, that's retail, retail just throwing in the towel, just panic selling their coins, panic selling their coins, bro, panic selling their coins. Um, just that constant dumpage to the downside um, on some of these old coins, man. That just smells capitulation and fear, okay? So I like that. I think the slow methodical move down is not great. The fast and relentless moves down often are lows, okay? So um, that you don't want the slow bleed. The slow bleed is no no bueno. The fast, the fast relentless dumps <laughs> like we've seen the last few days, um, those are actually what you want to see on the dumps. Um, so you got some good stuff, man. You got some good stuff. All right. Let's see what everyone's saying in the chat. Shrap, shrap listed on Crow. Let's go, Anderson. Finally, man. We need Shrap on a freaking exchange. <laughs> God damn it. Some of these guys. We need GPU on an exchange, and we need Shrap on an exchange. Jeez, man. Like, get some of these top coins on exchanges, man. I don't, I don't understand. They have high enough market caps. They should be on MEXC. Already, you know, god damn, man. Um, all right, so satisfaction hub shout out, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks, thanks for coming in and stopping by. And yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, guys, hold up, hold up. Who else we got in here? Jordan, let's look at trap. Let's look at trap. Here's the trap chart, man. Here is the strap chart. You came to, this is actually like kind of the most important level here where you've had resistance, support, 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 support. Right in here, all right? So resistance, support, 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 support. You actually wicked into that today. Other than that, you know, it's the same. Everything else pulled back. This thing pulled back, right? So other than that, looks the same as most coins. Not too much different. Like a lot of coins either came into major support levels or they or they bounced off the bull market support band, right? So that's what you got on trap. Um, not really anything crazy. You just got these big red kind of nasty sort of like liquidation and capitulation candles, right? When you see these, this is a 20% with the wick. When you see those kind of candles, bro, that's just retail thrown in the towel. You know, <laughs> that's all it is. It's just retail thrown in the towel right there. Especially, and then you see it bounce back, right? It's retail thrown in the towel. <laughs> but you, but you'll, you'll see that in almost every coin, man. That's why, guys, like, you, you, you're not going to make it through this bowl if you're super emotional. You're not going to, man. Like, if you're an emotional person, you're not going to get the gains you want in crypto. You're just not. You're not. Because cause the thing is, like, you, 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 you can't have emotions. You can't. Because think about it right now. Most people are selling right here. Okay. Or they were selling this little dump. Okay. The problem is for most people is they sell because they want to buy lower, right? They sell because they want to buy lower. <laughs> I, I I saw that a lot today. I saw some in a Georgia stream, someone asked him, should I sell this coin to buy lower? <laughs> Don't do that, guys. Whenever I hear someone, should I sell this to buy lower? Like, and it's already down. 
it's usually close to the low. Actually, someone said that on Casper stream today too, I think. Uh, should I sell this coin to buy lower? It's like, geez, man. Um, a lot of people want to buy low. And then what happens is those same people that buy low and are super, super emotional at the lows, market bounces from that point. As soon as they sell, it bounces from that point because the mark, you're, on, you're in your own little universe. As soon as you sell, it's the bottom. Okay, this comes up, right? And then you probably, you, you don't believe it until it gets up here. You buy back in, right? And then you buy to sell higher, right? So you're doing the opposite. You sell here to buy lower, you buy to sell higher, right? And it is, you can't have emotions. You just can't, you can't. You can't have emotions, man. And everyone always talks about making a lot of money in crypto, making those life-changing gains. You're not gonna do it if you're if you're constantly buying in and out of the market. <clears throat> um, what's your micro, opinion on MicroStrategy having a twenty percent short afloat? No idea, man. No idea. Yeah, I watched. I watched. I watched George this morning, Waterfly. I watched him this morning, man. <clears throat> Fed cutting in June or never? We don't. We don't want the Fed to cut, guys. I. I. I don't. Based on history, we don't want the Fed to cut. Um, and if you ever looked at like the history of, of rate cuts and rate rises, you would know just by looking at history, not listening to what everyone says, that rate cuts usually aren't aren't a good thing. Uh, rate cuts usually mean that they're cutting rates because they know the, the economy is shitty, <laughs> right? So if they're not cutting rates, that means the economy is good, which means market goes up, right? If economy is good, markets go up. If economy is bad, they cut rates, markets go down, right? They're not going to cut rates if, if the economy is good. They're only going to cut rates if, if shit's hitting the fan, right? You don't want a rate You don't want a rate cut, man. People rooting for rate cuts. I'm like, bro, you don't want no rate cut. Bitcoins went from the lows to the highs with no rate cut. It doesn't need no rate cut. <laughs> as soon as there's a rate cut, it's probably at the top, right? At that point, everyone's wait like the people waiting for a rate cut are gonna miss the whole bull market waiting for that damn rate cut. I swear. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Bank of Canada told me yes, he did. He did. Basically, Bitcoin is clearly a scam. Cryptocurrency is clearly an idiot with no common sense. And scientifically speaking, according to a study at the Bank of Canada, more people who are fina financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. Thank you, Bank of Canada guy. Uh, I wonder how he's doing. We, we should we should probably do a checkup on his channel at some point. Guys, you want to do a checkup on the Bank of Canada guy tomorrow? Let's do a checkup on Bank of Canada guy tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how he's doing out there. He's funny. He's a funny guy. I'm sure he has a Bitcoin update. He, he, he's done two Bitcoin update videos. I'm sure he has another Bitcoin update video that we can go watch. Hit the likes. Yeah, hit the likes, guys. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go, Strap man. Up. We're going to it's the moon. It's a good day today. A lot of you guys begging for dips. Here you go. Begging for dips. I saw, dude, I mean, I, chat is begging for dips. You get a dip, it's doom and gloom. Lord almighty, man. Let's freaking do this, boys. Let's freaking do this. If you got good entries, you are sitting pretty, you're chilling, and you should love the fear, right? If you got good entries, you should love the fear. Because either, like I said, you can buy more with the fear, right? Because you have that luxury because you bought lower. Or, right, you can just sit and watch everyone scramble, <laughs> which is kind of funny in a way, right? Um, and let the market do its thing, right? Let the market do its thing. It's good. It's 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 really really good. And honestly, when Bitcoin gets corrections like this, honestly, it's good because it's going to allow the market to go up for longer, right? If if the market's just going straight up, like if Bitcoin never had this correction and it was at like ninety k right now, right, that would be a lot more worrisome than Bitcoin getting a pullback first and then going to ninety k, right? So honestly, these these pullbacks like bulls. Even bulls should welcome the pullbacks because it's a nice reset. It, it's 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 Bitcoin changing hands. It's Bitcoin going from the super emotional 
um, people acting like they think a Bitcoin super cycle is going to happen. Then a little red comes and they sell and they don't think a super cycle is going to come to people who actually believe in Bitcoin, right? And they're just going to DCA Bitcoin, right? It's a constant, the floor of Bitcoin price constantly goes up because there's people who actually believe in Bitcoin and aren't going to sell their Bitcoin. And those people buy the dips, right? And the people who are fake bulls sell the dips, right? And it's just constant. Like, so even the bulls should want dips um, in, in the grand scheme of things, right? Up only is great, but even some of these bullish markets, right? 2017 was the craziest market I've ever seen in my life, um, right? I mean, even 2017, which was freaking, it looks parabolic on the chart, but you had 32% dumb, 39% dumb, 39% dumb, 30% dumb, right? It looks bullish on the chart. But like you, you, you're going to have these massive moves down, which create the opportunity for Bitcoin to go higher, right? 32% dumb. We, we, we could keep going, right? There was more down here, but right? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 40, 40, 40, 30. There's going to be these massive corrections. Um, and you better get used to it because there's going to be more. And, and I'll tell you right now, the higher it goes, the higher, the, the harder it is to watch your portfolio go down because your portfolio is going to be bigger, <laughs> right? So say this, right? Picture this. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, right? That's whatever it does in the short term, right? Bitcoin goes higher, right? It gets up to, uh, let's say 90K. Let's just say 90K. I'm just going to use 90K, right? And then it has another pullback. It's going to be, that, that pullback is going to be harder because then your portfolio is going to be bigger in theory if you're just sitting on your hands, right? And then let's say Bitcoin goes to 100, right? Pulls back again. It's going to be harder. The higher Bitcoin goes, the harder it is. Um, and that's why taking profits is good too, because you're, you're guaranteeing that you, you take some money out of the market because most people will ride the whole market up and then ride it all the way back down and not take any profits, not one thing, <laughs> right? At least take like, like take your initial investment out at least shit. Um, Gareth Soloway, 10 K. Gara Soloway's been shortened since Nam. Since Vietnam. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Since Vietnam. Lord. I think he's been shortened since freaking Egyptian days. Since when they were, since the aliens were building the pyramids. Not because we know the Egyptians weren't building the pyramids. We know that. We definitely, definitely know that. We definitely know that. Anyways, uh, stock market's getting a bounce today. Uh, S and P 500 actually almost close to breaking all time highs again. Um, you know, so despite like, it's interesting because you're actually seeing the stock markets not really move down a lot and crypto's moving down, right? Very kind of the opposite that we saw for a little while, right? So stock markets, S and P is about 0.3% away from breaking all time highs again. Uh, Dow Jones, I think it's the same, like 0.3% from breaking all time highs again, right? So you actually have stocks going up into FOMC, Bitcoin going down into FOMC. Um, it's interesting. It's an interesting setup, man. Um, so like the, the, I guess the, the, the stock market correlation, the, the, the stock market correlation just hasn't been working lately. It's, I guess in the longer term timeframes it is because they're both going up, but like the short term timeframes, bro. I mean, you'll have the stocks up one day, crypto down, stocks dumping crypto up. It, it's the day to day shit. It doesn't work like it did in the bear. The bear, if the stock market was up, Bitcoin was up. Stock market was down, Bitcoin was down. But Russell's up, stocks are up. Dollar, the dollar's actually at the 618 FIB. So this this hasn't really been too important either, to be honest, but um, what was I looking at? From this high to this low, you can see the dollar just went up to the golden retrace. So that might be the top on the dollar. We'll see what FOMC does tomorrow. Um, gold holding. Gold actually looks pretty bullish right here. It just looks like it's flagging out to go higher, to be honest. Um, which is honestly has been good, right? Bitcoin and gold have been going up together, right? So it's it's not too bad. But interesting. Uh, <laughs> Satoshi built a pyramid? He probably did. At this point, we don't know who it is. I mean, Satoshi could be an alien. Aliens could have put Bitcoin on, on, on Earth at this point, you know? 
They definitely could have. Uh, smart money is actually thinking about deploying Bitcoin into alts. Uh, yeah, that too. That too. That too. That too. I mean, any, anyone who looks at previous cycles can can tell you that we're at the point. We're at that kind of point where Bitcoin's at the all-time highs. It stalls out for a couple weeks. Altcoins get a little retraced during that time. And then, right, what we really need to see is Bitcoin cleanly break through those all-time highs. And then after that second test of the all-time highs and we cleanly break through, that's when we see this phase for altcoins. Anyone who, who looks at previous cycles can tell you that. Um, it's just that when you're actually in that moment, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it feels horrible <laughs> when you're actually in that moment, right? Um, but it's reminding yourself that this has happened before and there's nothing too crazy. Uh, if he wants to look at Sol, let's look at Solana, guys. Let's look at Solana. And for anyone who's new out there, like I said, make sure you're buying red and you're not waiting till tomorrow when the market's green. Okay. Uh, so let's see. So Solana. Yeah, Solana, Solana's been holding up good. It's had a little pullback last two days. 18%. Really nothing though compared, <laughs> compared to the rest of the market. Like you can't even see the pullback. Most old, like a lot of old coins, you can't even see the pullbacks. Like, like this is the sole pullback, guys. This is it. Right? So unless you bought the Pico top. You, you, I mean, even if you bought right here back in January, February, right, you're still up like two over two X on that. Even if you bought right here, never mind if you bought over here, right? Really, the only people that are down or should be even worried are, are the people that literally bought this wick <laughs> and the two hundreds, right? Um, other than that, dude, I mean, you're chilling, you're chilling. As with most things, right? I mean, honestly, like, if you zoom out, really, like, this is what people are talking about this that weekly candle right there you know so it's really not much man almost every coin almost every single coin man it's like what what are we talking about here guys avax it's actually green this week um <laughs> this is avax um what's another popular one even ones that like seem like they've gotten crushed like this is ship this is ship Ships, quote unquote, gotten crushed. Ships down 50%. Look at the chart, though. It's down 50% from the high. But look at the chart. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and this is what I mean. Like, getting good entries is so important. It's down 50%, but like, is, I mean, the chart is still bullish, though, right? You're just getting a pullback up from a bigger trend, right? chain link one that hasn't been even moving up this is the chain link chart unless you were buying the top who gives a fuck <laughs> right i mean all you're doing is retracing back into the bull market support band that's all you're doing um near we went into weekly resistance like we talked about oh uh, look people taking profits at the weekly resistance who would have thought right you get a pullback but this is the weekly candle we we're talking about right on this channel, we were buying near right here, and we were buying near right here. So if you were doing that, who gives a fuck? Only the people who care, people were buying up here. You know, and, and this is always my point, guys. Buy the fear and have conviction in your hold. Don't wait till it pumps like this, and then all of a sudden, like, near's the future of finance, and then you buy, right? You don't do that. Buy when no one is interested in your shit. Okay? No one no one wanted near here. No one wanted near over here. Everyone wants it right here. This is when smart money takes profits, right? Um, I mean, I could go down the list. I could go down the list. I could go down this. Injective, right? This is injective. This is what people are panicking about right now. <laughs> right? This is it. A sideways, actually an upwards accumulation. It isn't even going sideways. It's actually, go, the accumulation phase is actually going up. But yet, mass hysteria, right? Still have the same target though, right? Bull flag, measure move, 224 bucks for INJ. And I got conviction in that, okay? 
But this, 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 this is this is what people are talking about right now. This, this little red candle up here. Uh, ETH, ETH's gotten hit pretty hard. This is what we're talking about for ETH. This, this is it. This is what we're talking about for ETH. Okay. Same thing though. ETH all time high retest for the most part, right? You're gonna have people taking profits. It's okay. You, when you when you get to resistance, people are gonna be taking profits. It's normal, but this is this is what people are scared about on this for ETH, okay? This right here, all right? Um, and 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 the red is you want to, when you want to be scooping stuff, guys, not selling shit, all right? Jeez, jeez, Louise, jeez, Louise. Okay, back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin still sixty five k. We'll see where Bitcoin ends up today, but still chilling about sixty five k for BTC. Um, someone has to buy there or the bags won't pump. They just said, we know when they come. We know when they come. <laughs> you know when they come, bro. Uh, ETH, B ETH BTC will dump. It could. It could, man. I have no clue. But I, I think that's, whenever, whenever people start to get super bearish on ETH, that's where usually when it starts moving up, so. Um, right now, <laughs> this is kind of what happened a few months ago, right? Everyone got super bullish on Solana again, right? No one was bullish on ETH. ETH did a 2x. Solana did nothing for a while. You're probably going to get one of those again at some point, right? Where everyone Now everyone's bullish on Sol again, <laughs> right? Which is just justified. Sol was pumped a lot. There's no, there's no knock against Sol. But what ends up happening is everyone gets so bullish on that coin, right? Everyone's trading memes on Sol. They all get dumped. All the memes get plastered because everyone's talking about them. Once once all the influencers are talking about the same thing, it's over, okay? That's that's the thing right now. Meme coins. Th those memes are probably going to take a little bit of a rest. Solana takes a little bit of a rest because it's at all-time high resistance, right? When that, that last time that happened, Sol took a rest and then ETH went up again. I don't, I don't know if we're at that point yet. I, I don't think it, it's too much ETH hate yet. But whenever the ETH hate comes in, <laughs> I know it's only a matter of time before it starts to rocket up, uh, which ETH will be the second one to break all-time highs. Okay, ETH will break all-time highs, and then you'll see all the other big coins uh, start to make their moves to all-time highs. <clears throat> um, Rubbing my hands together. Whoa! Will GPU ever get listed? I, I want it to, man. I I want to buy some more, but I, I like I can. But you know I'm kind of like you guys. You know what? I, I, I agree. The the ETH gas fees are ridiculous. Okay, if I have to pay like 15, 20 bucks, that's fine. But dude, lately they've been like a hundred bucks plus. It's ridiculous, man. I ain't paying that. Shit, I'll pay like 15, 20 bucks. But a you know, hundred bucks, kiss my ass. <laughs> I already bought some though, so I'm good. I, I, honestly, it's not like that. I need to buy more. It's just I want to, but I, I, I would much, I would much rather prefer it was on the like, centralized exchange. Like well, I'm surprised MexC hasn't listed it yet. MexC will list any shit coin, but they don't have, you know, what I think is is the best up and coming AI coin. I'm surprised they don't. It's on L Bank. I don't know what L Bank is. Everyone keeps talking about L Bank. If I don't know what an exchange is, I'm a little bit skeptical of it. Some of you guys maybe use L Bank. I don't know. I've never heard of it though. Um, it cost me fifty dollars to buy GP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you get in early, sometimes like I talked about, like if you can get in early on a coin because the gas fees are high, you get in early before everyone else buys it because everyone else is waiting for it to go on exchanges. So you're getting in at a good price, but you have to pay that gas fee. Like that, that's the cost. It's the cost of doing business. But when it does get listed. What I'll do is I'll send my GPU to that exchange when I want to sell it and sell it on there so I don't have to pay a fee when, when, when it does get listed, which I hope is soon, which I hope is soon before the before the next AI run, which is inevitable after NVIDIA's freaking conference yesterday. <clears throat> um, yo, shout out to Envy. People need to get bearish on Link so it can pump. Yeah. <laughs> Should we start fudding Link? Let's start. Let's start fudding Link. 
Let's start fighting Link. <laughs> Chain Link sucks. It'll never pump. It always just goes sideways. It never dump. It never pump. It literally does nothing. God, Chain Link is horrible. Sergi is fat and only likes to eat McDonald's. He always take profit on Chain Link. Let it pump for your followers. Ugh, oh, Chain Link. Chain Link, I agree. Aerodrome Finance looking good. What is Aerodrome Finance? Sounds... It sounds kind of AIE. I don't know what that is. But it sounds kind of AIE. Damn! Yeah, this thing's cruising. Cruising. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does. You can maybe get a little bit of a... Like kind of like a, a rising wedge on this bad boy, though. A little bit of a rising wedge. So it's, I mean, it's due for a pullback. So it makes sense. I mean, this thing has been going, for the most part, straight up. Um, so it could be due for a little pullback. Right? So what you probably look for is if it comes up, gets rejected on this like little diagonal again. Right? You'd probably be looking for like a little pullback on it before eventually coming back up but like ultimately like these falling wedges they're, they're more so just a, a sign of like you're due for some red right it means like the sellers are stepping in faster than the buyers are stepping in um but it could just be something like this take out these lows and then continue up but you got a little bit of a rising wedge coming up in this bad boy so if it's bullish, what you'll see is this thing is just going to cruise up like this, break out, retest. And if it breaks out and retests, that this shit is just bullish as hell. Like if you if you see rising wedges break out to the upside, that means that that coin is just bullish as hell. <laughs> and there's no reason to be bearish on that thing. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It looks like I looked at this before because I had this little green thing here. <laughs> so I don't know when I looked at this. I looked at this at some point. Um, let's see. Kirkmeyer, thanks for coming to the super chat, man. He said Solana and Aptos join Google and Visa for the first decentralized application store this semester. What is your opinion? Solana and Aptos join Google and Visa for the first decentralized application store this semester. What is your opinion? That's cool. If it's anything like the Solana phone, though. <laughs> only people bought only reason people bought the solana phone is because they because they got that they got free bunk so hopefully it's pretty good it's pretty good but like if it's an actual store where people are buying shit with solana that'd be pretty cool you, you we need stuff like that to actually get some type of adoption in crypto right so we need like like that, that's a perfect way to get adoption like for solana to start a store like a retail store on the street right Solana retail store on this little street. And basically, the, the, what they're going to have to do is like uh, front the cost. Like they're going to have to front because like they're not going to get a lot of customers. But so what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to front the cost. And basically, this will be like kind of advertisement in major cities, right? They front the cost of the rent, the store, because they're, they're not going to profit off this store. I think that's pretty obvious, at least at first. They're going to have to front the costs. And I don't know. They can make it so whatever they're selling in the store, right? You get, I don't know. You could say they get, you know, a 20% discount if they use Solana or some shit or 30%. And it's stuff like that would kind of, that would kind of create demand or something. I don't know what they're going to do. That'd be pretty cool. But that, that's the only way you're going to get real, like, I think kind of adoption of like using crypto for transactions <clears throat> you know people are going to get scammed so bad with that just like they do with phone stores <laughs> true of it um what is happening with sushi is sushi taking a big poo poo or a big big pump pump sushi what's happening with sushi you're tricking me into looking at this, aren't you? <laughs> That's what you did. <laughs> you tricked me into looking at this day of chart. You son of a gun. Eh, nothing's really happening, right? Previous highs, right? High, high, high. 
you broke out, you're now you're retesting. So if if this is bullish, if it's bullish, you're looking for the retest here and then the breakout, right? So like this is the SOS phase and wake off, right? So accumulation, manipulation, breakout, retest, and then you're looking for the continuation. If it dumps back into the range, eh, it's not looking, it's not looking that great. You're probably gonna dump all the way to like 130. The bull market support band right here. But as for now, you're gonna just holding on top of that range for now. And you're kind of hoping that Bitcoin finds a low and you can start pushing back up again. <clears throat> um, Souls like a casino. Well, it's because it's not that souls like a casino. It's it, people are treating it like a casino, you know, which is fine. A bunch of people have made a lot of money on, on, on the Solana memes, but I guarantee you more people have lost money on the Solana memes than gained money on the Solana memes. Um, which is fine. I mean, when, guys, when you buy a meme coin, there's about a 90% chance that you will lose, I guess say higher than that. There's probably a 95% chance you will lose money on that meme. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like if, if you go into it knowing that, it's fine. There's it, it, always a great chance, great chance that you're gonna lose money on that meme coin. But like I said, as long as you know that and you accept the risks and you go for it, who cares? Who cares? Jackson said, can you check out Harmony One? Yeah, check out Harmony One. Harmony One. What do we got, man? Let me just let me just start this fresh. Let me get a freshie. All right, so let's mark off. So this. You can see here. This was weekly resistance, right? Resistance back here, resistance here, resistance here, right? So people take profits right here, right? But then you also have a support coming in here, right? So now you're kind of, if we just get rid of that, right? So you're testing the previous bear market resistance as support now, right? So what we want to see from here, if this is bullish, right? is we want to see consolidation here now, right? So we could wick a little bit lower. Wicks are fine. We don't want to get closes back below here, but as long as we kind of just consolidate now here, it's fine, right? But now you want to kind of just hold on top of here. It could take a little bit. If you dump back below this, looking for that bull market support band, probably a little bit deeper of a retrace then. But that's it, that's it. You want to retest the previous resistance as support and hold. That's it. And then if it does, boop, then you get the phase E because Harmony One hasn't had its phase E yet. This is just the retest. <coughs> Excuse me. BTC the daddy meme. BTC is the only crypto that's not a meme. That, that's my hot take. That's, that, that, that is my juicy, juicy hot take for you guys today. Bitcoin is the only crypto that is not a meme coin. Prove me wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, other than that, guys. Eh. Other than that, not too much. Not, not too much else going on. So I'm gonna hop off for the day. Um, have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday, guys. Uh, after today, um, starting tomorrow, we'll be back at 7 p.m. every day. So uh, today was the last morning slash day stream. We'll be back to 7 p.m. streams. Uh, every day moving forward. So I'm, I'm excited to get back to those. And like I said, guys, um, smart money buys the lows or holds. They don't panic sell on 40, 30, 40% retraces. Okay. Um, it's, just, it's not what you do, right? So if Bitcoin moves back up, which I do believe it will, and your altcoin moves back up, which I do believe it will, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but at some point, remember the lesson in here, okay, is take profits when the market is crazy, right? So if your altcoin pumps huge, take some off the board. If people are calling for a super cycle, take some off the board. If 
Solana meme coins are pumping up a thousand X in one day. Take some off the board, right? But especially number one, like if your coin's up a shitload, don't be afraid to take some profits and don't let people make fun of you for taking profits because that is the hardest, the hardest part of this market and the most important part of this market is taking money out of, you don't have to do it with Bitcoin if you don't want to, but at least the altcoins, okay? So I'm out of here. Peace out, guys. Have a great rest of your day. And whew, hit the like button before you go. And if you're new, press that subscribe button. We're going for 100K and we will hit 100K uh, by the end of this year. No doubt in my mind. Um, so let's get it. Let's get it, guys. All right. Peace out, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy your day.